My name's Ali Gray, and I'm from Cambridge in England. I met Mark about a year ago. He's from San Francisco. We both work for MTC, a music company. I was working in the London office, and he came there on business. We got on really well, and we really liked each other. Anyway, at the end of his trip, he invited me to go to a conference in San Francisco. We had a great time again. And then something amazing happened. When I was in San Francisco, I was offered a job in our new office in Paris. When I told Mark, he told me that he was going to work in the Paris office too. There's just one little thing. His job is marketing director, but mine is managing director, so I'm going to be his boss. I've been in Paris for three weeks now and I love it. Mark arrived from San Francisco yesterday. He's coming into the office this morning. Hi, I'm Mark Ryder. Ah, you're the new marketing director. That's right. I'm Nicole Delacroix. I'm Ali's personal assistant. Welcome to Paris. Thank you. I'll just tell Ali you're here. Ali, Mark Ryder's here. Okay. You're from San Francisco, aren't you? Yes, I am. Hello, Mark. Ali, it's good to see you again. How are you? Very well. Did you have a good journey? Yes, fine, no problems. Let me introduce you to the team. You've met Nicole, my personal assistant. Yes, we've said hello. This is Jacques Lemaitre, our PR director. Uh, how do you do? Mark Ryder, how do you do? And this is Ben Watts, our designer. Hi, Mark. Great to meet you, Ben. We've heard a lot about you. Really? All good, I hope. Okay. Should we go to my office? Hi, I'm Mark Ryder. Welcome to Paris. You're from San Francisco, aren't you? It's good to see you again. Did you have a good journey? Let me introduce you to the team. You've met Nicole, my personal assistant. This is Jacques Lemaitre, our PR director. How do you do? Great to meet you, Ben. We've heard a lot about you. What a lovely view. The river's beautiful, isn't it? Paris is so romantic. I can't believe we're here together at last. Yes, it's weird. Weird? It's wonderful. I really missed you. Me too. Why don't we sit down? So, did you like the office? Yes, it's great. How do you get on with everyone? Okay, but we'll see. I've only been here three weeks. What did you think of them? Oh, I thought Jacques was very nice. And Nicole. What about Nicole? She was very friendly. You know, we have to keep things a secret. What things? You know, us. Our relationship. I don't want the people in the office to know we're together. No, of course not. But it isn't going to be easy. 
No, it isn't. How's the hotel? Well, it's okay, I guess. But it's not like having my own place. I have to find an apartment. Don't worry, it won't take you long. What are you thinking? Do you really want to know? I was wondering what kind of boss you'll be. Well, you'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> Lovely view. Why don't we sit down? I have to find an apartment. Don't worry, it won't take you long. I was wondering what kind of boss you'll be. Well, you'll find out tomorrow. Mark, would you mind sending me those concert dates? Of course not. Ben, are you busy? Me? <laughs> Never. Could you help me? I can't open this document. Sure. Thanks. Hi, Nicole. Could you sign these, please? Sure. Is it okay if I take tomorrow afternoon off? I'm sorry, but tomorrow's really difficult. What about Friday afternoon? Friday? That's fine. Do you think you could send me the request by email? Uh, yes, of course. <whistles> Hello? Hi, Mark. Could you hold a moment, Mark? Thank you, Nicole. Can you come and see me when you have a moment? Would you mind sending me those concert dates? Of course not. Could you help me? Sure. Is it okay if I take tomorrow afternoon off? I'm sorry, but tomorrow is really difficult. Do you think you could send me the request by email? Yes, of course. Can you come and see me when you have a moment? Have you started looking for an apartment? No, I haven't had time yet. Anyway, it's best to get to know Paris first. Yeah, it's a big city. Huh? Merci. Merci. 
Merci beaucoup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very good, Marc. Thanks. That's nearly all the French I know. <laughs> Hi, Beatrice. Yeah, uh, just a minute. Sorry. How would you like the office? Oh, it's great. And the people? Really friendly. I like Ben a lot. He's amazing with computers. Mm. And Jacques's a really nice guy. Oh, Jacques, he's very charming. Everybody likes him. And he has a lovely wife. She used to be a pop star when she was young. Have you heard of Isabelle? No, I'm sorry I haven't. She's very pretty. Ali is very attractive, too. Ali? Yeah, I guess. Although her clothes are very English. And she's very formal. You know, today I asked her if I could have a day off, and she wanted me to send her an email. Well, the English have their funny ways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Ellie. Hi. Ellie, hi, let me get you a drink. Thanks, I'll have a Diet Coke. Have you started looking for an apartment? I haven't had time yet. Just a minute. How do you like the office? Have you heard of Isabelle? Let me get you a drink. Thanks. I'll have a Diet Coke. Where exactly is it? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Okay. How far is it? Okay. Okay. Merci. Au revoir. Any luck? I think I found an apartment. How do I get to Belleville? The easiest way is to get the metro at Pyramids. Take line 14 and change at Châtelet. Okay. Then take line 11 towards Meride Lila. Where do I get off? At Belleville. And how many stops is it? Six, I think. Oh, right. I found it on the map. How long does it take to get there? About half an hour. Have you found a flat? Yeah, in Belleville this time. Oh, when are you going to see it? This afternoon. If you can wait till six, I'll give you a lift. I live near Belleville, so I'm driving that way. That's great. Thanks. Thank you. Where exactly is it? How far is it? How do I get to Belleville? The easiest way is to get the metro at Pyramids. Take line 14 and change at Châtelet.
then take line 11 towards Meride Lila. Where do I get off? And how many stops is it? How long does it take to get there? If you can wait till six, I'll give you a lift. This is the apartment. Uh, je vous laisse visiter. Je serai en bas. Merci, madame. Sorry, Nicole. What did she say? She said we can have a look at the flat. She's going to wait downstairs. Thanks. So what do you think? Mm, it's a long way from the station. And it's on the fourth floor. It's a pity there isn't a lift. Who needs one? The stairs are good exercise. Look, there's a great view from here. It's also very noisy. Sure, but it has character. It's just how I imagine an apartment in Paris. Everything's old, including the heating. It would be very cold in the winter. Oh, hi. Well, what's it like? Nice, really Parisian. Are you going to take it? I think so, yeah. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. Are you okay? Are you on your own? No, I'm with the woman who owns the apartment. I'll call you back. Okay. Speak later. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Sorry about that. That was... that was my... my daughter. Calling from America? You know, she's just taking an interest. Mm, taking an interest. That's nice. So what do you think? It's a long way from the station. It's a pity there isn't a lift. What's it like? I can't wait to see it. Are you on your own? I'll call you back. I got a message this morning. It's from Jacques. Ali, it's Jacques. I'm in Rome. My return flight's been cancelled. There's a small problem. Scarlett Scarpino is in Paris for her concert this evening. I was going to look after her today. Could you possibly take care of her? Thank you. And see you later. You've met Scarlett Scarpino, haven't you, Ben? The punk princess. Yeah, I met her in London last year. What's she like? Let's say she's a bit difficult. What are we going to do with her? Why don't you show her around Paris? I have a better idea. Why don't you show her around Paris? What, me? I'm new here. You can't leave me to do this on my own. Okay, why don't we take her to Notre Dame? I mean, it's her first time in Paris, isn't it? I don't think churches are really her thing. How about taking her on a boat trip? Brilliant. And then we can go up the Eiffel Tower. That's a good idea. I'm sure she'll love the view. And she might fall off. Thanks for your help, Ben. 
Shall we have lunch after that? Let's go somewhere really nice. Do you have any recommendations, Ben? What about La Renaissance? Jacques' favorite. That sounds perfect. Uh, ben, do you want to come too? Sorry, Ali. I'm really busy. But I'm sure you'll have an unforgettable meal. What are we going to do with her? Why don't you show her around Paris? I have a better idea. Why don't we take her to Notre Dame? How about taking her on a boat trip? That's a good idea. Shall we have lunch after that? Let's go somewhere really nice. What about La Renaissance? So, Scarlet, what would you like? Nothing. Aren't you hungry? Sure, but this food's really horrible. This is one of the finest restaurants in Paris. Well, I can't eat this stuff. I never touch meat. The seafood looks good. Hey, fish have feelings too. What about the mushroom risotto? Mushrooms? No way. Didn't they tell you guys about my allergies? I'm allergic to mushrooms, strawberries, nuts. Shall we go someplace else? Whatever. I'm going to the restroom. Well, that was a disastrous morning. The boat trip made her feel sick, and she wouldn't go up the Eiffel Tower. I can't stand heights. It's a pity we didn't just take her shopping. She's so spoiled. Oh, come on. She's just a kid, really. So... What are we going to do about lunch? Shall we leave now? No, hang on. I have an idea. Let me talk to the waiter. Monsieur. <clears throat> do you think you could possibly do me a favor? Yes, of course so. What would you like? Well, I think this place is great. Mm. More wine, Allie? No, thanks. Mademoiselle. What's this? It's your lunch, Scarlet. But I didn't order anything. Hey. Pizza margarita. Cool. What would you like? Aren't you hungry? The seafood looks good. I'm allergic to mushrooms, strawberries, nuts.
Shall we leave now? No, hang on. I have an idea. Do you think you could possibly do me a favor? That was a great concert last night, Scarlett. Thanks. As we know, Scarlett's got a new CD coming out soon, so let's have a look at the best way we can promote it in France. Okay. Well, I think Scarlett should visit the major music stores. In my opinion, that's the best way to meet her fans. I'm not so sure. What do you think, Jacques? Actually, I don't agree with Marc. Scarlett isn't commercial in that way. Scarlett. Scarlett. I agree with Jacques. I don't have a commercial image. It isn't my style. Okay, but Scarlett needs more publicity. What about a series of TV and radio interviews? Don't you agree? Yes, but well, that's what everybody does. What we want is something different. Personally, I think Scarlett should tour clubs and summer festivals. She can DJ, play her favorite music, play the new CD, and meet her fans, too. Yes, absolutely. That's a much better idea. Mark. Okay, why not? Scarlett? I think... That's a great idea. <laughs> Thank you, Jacques. I think Scarlett should visit the major music stores. In my opinion, that's the best way to meet her fans. I'm not so sure. What do you think, Jacques? Actually, I don't agree with Mark. I agree with Jacques. Don't you agree? Personally, I think Scarlett should tour clubs and summer festivals. Yes, absolutely. I think... That's a great idea. Yeah? Is this the first time you've been to the Louvre? Uh-huh. What's the matter? Is this about the meeting? Because I agreed with Jacques and not with you. 
Yeah, well, we knew it wouldn't be easy. Working together, I mean. Oh, it's difficult for me as well. But if I don't agree with you... I know, I know. You're the boss. And I have to do my job. I really thought that Jack's idea was better, and so did Scarlett. It's not a big deal, Allie. I'm fine, really. So who exactly was the Mona Lisa? I'm not sure. I think she was the wife of a banker. Is that why she's smiling? Because her husband has a good salary. <gasps> I also read somewhere that she was a self-portrait of Leonardo. A self-portrait? You're kidding. Now, I don't know much about art, but Leonardo da Vinci was a man, right? Well, it's just a theory. Why do you think she's smiling? Well, in my opinion, she's the managing director of a music company. <laughs> what? She lives in Paris, she's in love with her marketing director, and she has a lot of fun telling him what to do. That's really unfair. Hey, we're not in the office now. You can't tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Let's get a coffee. Good idea. Don't turn around. What is it? I've just seen Ben from the office. Where? I said, don't look. I don't think he's seen us. Let's get out of here. Come on. It's not a big deal. You're kidding. I don't know much about art. That's really unfair. Don't turn around. Let's get out of here. Hi. Hi. Hello. Did you have a nice weekend? Oh, yeah. You'll never guess who I saw on Saturday. Who? Ali and Mark in the Louvre together. Really? You're joking. It was definitely them. When they looked really close, I think they were holding hands. No, I don't believe it. It's true, I'm telling you. And I think they saw me, because they turned and left really quickly. Oh. Are you serious? You know I'm not surprised. I think they've been seeing each other ever since Mark arrived. Or maybe even before. That's incredible. What makes you say that? When I went to look at Mark's new apartment, I'm sure Ali called him on his mobile. And I've seen her looking at him in a certain way. Hey, quiet everyone. It's Mark. <laughs> Hi. Good morning. morning. You'll never guess who I saw on Saturday. Really? You're joking. No, I don't believe it. It's true, I'm telling you. Are you serious? That's incredible.
Dear All, please find attached a copy of the latest sales report from the USA. Mark. So, did you guys have a good weekend? Yes, fine. Not bad. Very quiet. What about you, Mark? Oh, I spent most of the time at home, just being domestic, you know. The apartment's looking pretty nice now. You must come around for a meal one evening. That would be very nice. So didn't you go out at all? Oh, sure. I went to the Louvre on Saturday. I felt like getting a bit of culture. On your own? Yeah. I kind of prefer going to museums and galleries on my own. You can look at everything at your own pace. That's funny. I went to the Louvre on Saturday, too. Really? I, I, I didn't see you. Well, it's a big place. I didn't see you either. I've just had an email from Ali. So have I. Me too. Dear Mark, thank you for the information and thank you, darling, for a wonderful weekend, Ali. You must come around for a meal one evening. That would be very nice. So didn't you go out at all? I felt like getting a bit of culture. That's funny. I went to the Louvre on Saturday, too. I didn't see you either. Mark Ryder. Mark, can you come in? Sure. Thanks for the sales report. I think there's something more important to talk about right now. What do you mean? That message you sent me? You hit reply to all. You sent it to everyone in the office. Oh, no, you're joking. Oh, Mark, I'm so sorry. I did it without thinking. It's all right, Allie. It's an easy mistake to make. How could I be so stupid? I just wasn't concentrating. Allie. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. But I think we should talk to the others. Yes, you're right. I'll do it. It was my fault. Listen, everybody. I... I just want to say that I'm terribly sorry I haven't been honest with you. Um, we, Mark and I, well... That's okay, Ali. We had already guessed. It wasn't really a surprise. I'm so sorry. I did it without thinking. It's all right, Allie. How could I be so stupid?
I just wasn't concentrating. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. It was my fault. I'm terribly sorry. I still can't work out how they knew about us. I was always really careful not to treat you differently. But you were really hard on me. Mark, I wasn't. Oh, you were just being fair and very British. So if it wasn't me, it must have been you. What? I've got my own office. You're with them all the time. You must have said something. You're hopeless at keeping secrets. Don't blame me. This wasn't my fault. They probably just guessed. How? You know the French, they're experts on love affairs. Maybe. Actually, I think it's great that everyone knows. Now we don't have to pretend anymore. Yeah, that's true. Allie, there's something I've been wanting to ask you for a long time. I just haven't said anything. But it's now or never. Allie, will you marry me? Sorry, Mark, I didn't hear a word you said. I said, will you marry me? Yes, I will. Was that a yes? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Can you confirm that in an email for me? Just don't send it to everyone in the office this time. So if it wasn't me, it must have been you. You're hopeless at keeping secrets. Don't blame me. But it's now or never. I didn't hear a word you said. Can you confirm that in an email?